Ho ho, me hearties, a very good evening to you. Friday evening, early evening, five o'clock exactly. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClure, to every single one of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Friday evening TikTok pop up. Lovely to have you with us. And as I say, Welcome, welcome, welcome. So much to talk about, so little time to do it in, and always good to have you with us. So spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live on TikTok just for you saying a dinky do. And a very, very warm welcome. Let's have some serious chat and let's have some very light hearted chat. Let's have some great fun, of course. You're live on TikTok's top talk show with me, Scotty McClue. Poppy Lee's just joined us, Ruby and Nika, lovely to have you with us, welcome, welcome, you can stop scrolling now as you've arrived exactly where you should be on TikTok's top talk show, just for you, dinky do for me, Scotty McClure, oi lad, says Tarka, Tarko, dinky do, dinky do, and oi to you, dinky do, Polly Doc, Polly Doc, lovely to have you with us, welcome, 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 follow me as soon as you come on guys, we need to get the followers up there big style be one of the chosen ones get yourself on there now then who have we got here dinky do i say and a very dinky do to you always lovely to have you with us and welcome 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 fantastic stuff now um as i say it's friday night nothing gets past me of course dinky do says david hello david so lovely to have you with us just sending a couple of little trolls down the road early doors i'm scottish and i approve of this live i thank you very very much indeed Guys, Guys, remember not to pop in second names. If you're wanting a shout out, first names only, of course. Hello, hola, hola. Fantastic stuff. Now, what are we doing here? We're saying goodbye to Carlton. Yes, indeed, a well-known troll. There we go, and off he jolly well goes. Fantastic stuff, isn't it? Now, uh, hello, my friend. Hello, Ramon. How are we this afternoon, or should I say this evening, as it's just gone five o'clock? Hello, my friend. Dinky you do? Fantastic. Lovely having you all with us, of course. Lots to talk about and the time just flies I popped up live this morning at about, uh, oh, I think quarter to seven it was in the morning. And what a fantastic stream that was, guys. Absolutely incredible. People from all over the world coming and joining us. Just tremendous stuff. Are you Irish? Uh, well, we're all Irish, really. Well, we're all African. And then we're all Irish via the African Rift Valley. Um, who have we got here? Hello, Dinky Do. You put a lot of effort into this, haven't you, McClue? Oh, absolutely. Nothing like a bit of hard work, I say. Hello, Scotty, Dinky Do, Johan. How lovely to have you with us. And a big Dinky Do to you, of course. Welcome, welcome, I say. Hello, says Anathia. Anathia. Do you prefer Anathia or Anathia? A cutie says Anathia. Oh, I thank you, Anathia. Thank you very much indeed. I'd rather be a cutie than a cuticle. <laughs> now, wonderful. See what I just did there, I say. Now, who have we got here? Lots of interesting people. Um, now, I mean, I was only joking, but what a fact. Yes, yeah, so well, I'll give you lots of good facts on here. Shout out to we Gemma, says Paul Doc. Yes, indeed, Paul Doc, no problem at all. A shout out to Gemma. There's Billy saying good day, good day from Australia down under hello from Mississippi Matthew lovely to have you with us welcome welcome I say from the Mississippi my name's Scott as well fantastic we love that hi says Cameron hi hello says Tom hello Tom dinky do now you can ask interesting sensible intelligent questions and I'll do my best to answer them I say do you remember me says Billy of course we do I reckon being a commentator would be right up your alley do you think so DHS there they are out in the middle of the pitch now out to Smith wow 
What a cross! <laughs> Scotty, amazing scenes in Pollock Shields yesterday. D10, absolutely incredible. What did you think about them? There we are. He'd be a cracking commentator, says Taylor. I thank you, but I don't know anything about football. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Hello from Tasmania in Australia. Matthew, do you know the Tasmanian devils? There we are, the little creatures. Do you see them around Tasmania? I did one supply for a radio station in Tasmania. I thought that might have been rather good. Might have been rather fun. Guys, I need somebody to volunteer to go and like all the Scotty McClue TikTok videos, please. Follow us as soon as you come on. We must get the followers up a little bit. Um, I can't believe I've had well over half a million viewers and only, what have we got, 11.9 thousand followers. That should be up at 100,000 by now. He loves Isabella. Isabella, lovely to have you with us. So do give us a follow fest as soon as you possibly can. A massive follow fest. Can you speak a different language? What language would you like me to speak, Isabella? There we are. Do you want me to speak a Russian? Привет. Do you want me to speak Greek? Yasu. Kalispera. Kalispera. There we are. Do you want me to speak French? Je ne regarde, je ne parle pas français très vite. Si tu parles longtemps, peut-être je comprends. Do you want me to speak Jordi? Oui, hey, man. Was voilà, c'est. <laughs> we can do that for you. Do you want me to speak Yorkshire? Like? I could manage a bit of Yorkshire, eh? So there we are. Good evening, Scotty. Thank you, David. Lovely to have you with us. Hello, Scotty. This is the wonderful Wee Mo. We like Wee Mo. Wee Mo is always good fun. Do you have a PlayStation? Yes, but I usually get the trains from it. So there we are. Uh, I'll do now. I've got an Xbox 6. I can get six eggs in the one box. Ooh, see what I just did there? Dinky do. Share the live, guys. If you're watching right now, share and share and share. Share the live, I say. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClure's popped up on TikTok just for you. Dinky do. That's what it's all about. Dinky do, MSN. Hello from Munich, from München. Yeah, ja, uh, ich bin ein Ausländer, ich verstehen. So there we are, Scotty. How have you been, my friend? I was off your stream yesterday. I had two teeth removed. MSN. A very house. I went into the dentist once and he said to me, Scotty, your teeth are lovely. I said, thank you. He said, the only bad news is your gums might have to come out. Oh, could you imagine it? Dinky do from Wales. Ah, yuck. Kida, Boris's speech, 5.30, Indian COVID, yes. We'll make sure that everybody's free for that. Then we can go and hear Boris speaking. Where was your profile picture taken, Scotty? Oh, I can't remember one of the studios. Say hi to Danny and Izzy. Thank you. Green glass. Hi, green glass, Yorkshire like. So there are not your gums. They should take Susie Poozie's out. <laughs> this smells like green glass conjump. Aye, that's it. I'm going to phone our friends down at Aidens Field Police Station. See what's what. And the wonderful, the wonderful um, Sergeant Bleakton, Derek Fowles, who was um, from Yes Minister, remember? On Yes Minister, he was Bernard, Bernard the minister's private secretary. What's for dinner tonight, says Aaron. I don't know, Aaron. I'm not in your house. So there are followers, please, if you can, guys. We need loads and loads and loads of followers. And we're on a time. We're a very tight for time. We've only got 20 minutes till Boris starts his speech. And everybody needs to be away for that. So if I can have some followers, that'd be great. Follow, follow, follow. Builder Bob, thank you for following. That's tremendous. Everybody on TikTok should actually be following Scotty McClure. That's how big this talk show is. So get your act together, guys, and follow me as soon as you can. Everybody following, please. Come on, guys. Follow, follow, look. This is what you're watching. Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet, live on TikTok, follow, like, share, enjoy the videos, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, 
So that's not difficult. And there's the follow there. I can see the wonderful Maria Knight, an absolute princess of the internet, the kindest, kindest woman in the world, sending me TikToks. Maria, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so generous and so lovely and so kind. And it's so good of you. You know, I just worry about your pennies. Uh, I've liked most of your TikToks. I'll do the rest later. Maria's sending me red roses. I love them, Maria. They are gorgeous. And you sent two huge things the other night. You sent a diamond and a carousel. And uh, some gold. Oh, I thought that lady, she is so kind to me. Um, what part of Scotland are you from? I'm from all of it, actually. So there we are. Now, there's an old-fashioned person called, wait a minute, T3 Edit Again. Now, T3 Edit Again is probably not totally stupid and could probably come and say something intelligent. But he thought he'd waste his time talking about an imaginary character, non-existent, because uh, he thought it might be funny. He doesn't realize that the joke failed weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Maria, thank you so much. Anyway, I'm not going to give him a lifetime ban. See if you can get your act together and clean that up, T3 Edit, and we'll have you on here as a contributor. Maria has sent me beautiful red roses and huge TikToks. She is absolutely lovely. What part of Scotland? Yes, I told you all of it. So there we go, dinky do. Hi there from Ireland. Hello from Ireland. Maria sent lots of TikToks, guys. T3 edit. Good for you. Now, come on, grow up. Take your uh, take yourself up a peg or two. I'm sure you've got an IQ of more than one. Hello, happy man. Wish us Eid Mubarak. I wish everyone Eid Mubarak. Dinky do. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We're exceptionally busy. Do you like Blair Gowrie? Says Callum. Callum, I don't like Blair Gowrie. I love Blair Gowrie. Blair Gowrie and Rattray. Coming over the uh, old Dunkeld Road. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely. Cooper Angus as well. We know very well. And uh, where else do we know up there? I'm just trying to think of some of the gorgeous places round about. There's Butterston. It's not far from you. Black Lunans. Uh, what else have we got? Bridge of Cali. Do you like the Bridge of Cali? Yes, it's rather gorgeous. Who's just showered me in gold? I'll bet it's Maria. Maria, thank you so much. She sent me a massive, massive, I'm the boss. Is that right? So there we are. Now, A.K. the goat, you also need to grow up. The joke fell flat weeks and weeks ago, and you haven't understood that. So wakey, wakey, sleepy boy. Afternoon, Scotty. Lovely sunny day in Whithorn. We love the Isle of Whithorn, where St. Dinian came to see us. Nice beard, thank you. Well in, Maria, absolutely. Hi from America, says 1-3 font. Lovely, lovely, thank you. Now, who else have we got today? How are you? Ahmad, I am amazing. Thank you so much for asking. Scotty, have you ever been to Oban? Connor, I know Oban like the back of my hand. You would go down via the Balachan Re, and you'd go into the town. You've got the one-way system. You'd go along to Argyle Square. Yes, then you'd come back along the front there, and you could go out one way to Wee Garnavan. You could go another way. If you go the other way, you could go out the Kilmore and Kilbride Road. Yes, indeed, you see. Would you be my grandfather? What a lovely thing to ask somebody. Are you from Ireland? We're all from Ireland. Fantastic. Hello, lad, from the Netherlands, Dutch. Ja, ja. Come into whose wheelchair? Kupete heben. I'm wearing my klompen. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do from the Netherlands, the low countries. We love it. Tulips from Amsterdam, I say. Now, what else have we got here? 
Please say hi to Marvin, Danny, and Izzy. It's our birthday. Are you triplet someone, Pasta? I ask you. Guys, can everyone follow me, please? I am shocked at how few followers I've got, and I am mega impressed with how many viewers I have. So I need lots more followers. Please follow. Kakar says, I love your voice. What a nice thing to say. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Everybody following. I really appreciate these lives. Thanks, Scotty. Thank you, do. Maria, it's so lovely. You appreciate the lives. How much do you think, Maria, I adore and appreciate your kindness? How much? Did you, you've given me a sense of hope. You've renewed my faith in human nature. You've negated the awful thing that happened to me with a very, very bad man when he took my money all these years ago. Wonderful, Maria. Thank you. You can have as many lives as you like. And Maria, if you don't ever want to give another TikTok, I would well understand it because you just have been so good. Uh, we are triplets. Ah, Marvin, think you do to the triplets, I say. The Halley, the Halley Orchestra. So there we are. Such a big fan, Scotty. Marvin, thank you very, very much. It's very much appreciated because, as you know, Scotty McClue goes back 29 years in the hearts and minds of the British people and the world. Hello from the green fields of Ireland. La Hoop. Have you ever heard of the green fields of France? There's a song for you. Scottish independence. Scottish Ahalba. Can you say happy birthday to Danny and Izzy? Yes, we've said that. Bessie, I'm scared I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed soon. Well, you're lucky. Some people I don't think have got any wisdom teeth in. We love you. Thank you, someone passed the dinky do. Buddy is sending hugs. Thanks, Wolf. Dinky do to you, I say, bud. And love all your wee comments and stuff on the lives. Guys, remember, don't just watch Scotty McClue live. All the TikTok videos are there for you. Feel free to feel free not flee, to click my portrait on the top left, and apparently that shows you all the videos. I was listening to you, Scott, in an old thing named a radio 20 years ago. Radio. I remember radio. Yes, indeed. Does anybody remember television? Do you support Palestine? I do, and I also support Israel. I want them both to stop throwing things at each other right now and protect the innocent people. So my message to Israel, wrap it in. My message to Palestine, wrap it in. Now, so there we are. Fantastic. Hi, Uncle Dinkido. What's your hand, Scotty? My hand is um, the, the, the four of diamonds. I think your vocabulary is just astounding. Ah, Milank, how lovely to have you with us. Milank, I was thinking about you today and whether you are actually the esteemed gentleman himself or whether you are a huge fan is absolutely fine with me. It's just a great privilege to have you with us. What are your pronouns? Well, give me pronouns are a bit old fashioned. We don't ask them on Scotty McClure's TikTok Live because we're all inclusive. So nobody has to justify themselves. Nobody has to show any kind of ID. Nobody has to spare any data or data. Nobody has to say what their race, creed, color, age, sexual orientation, identification is, because it doesn't matter. We love you. There we go. Finbar Fury sings it very well, Scotty. Lovely song. Absolutely the hoop. Uh, oh, as they lowered you down, did the pipes play the flutes or the forest? It's so moving. Have you ever thought about eating your hat? Yes, Tompkins. If, uh, if I became the most famous person at TikTok, I might eat my hat. But by that time, I may have made a hat out of cake. <laughs> I love the song. It's a beautiful song, Summer Pastor. The Green Fields of France. Hello from the Cook Islands. Matthew, how lovely to have you with us from the Cook Islands. Where you discovered by Captain Cook. 
Tremendous stuff. How brilliant is that? So there we go. <laughs> we love it. We absolutely love it. Wonderful. How was your day today? My day, Milank, was outstanding today. A fabulous, fabulous day. Very, very hard work, but very, very interesting. And, of course, I learn all the time. I'm back, says Mr. Bag. Hello, Mr. Bag. Guys, can you follow me as soon as you come on? I need more followers. I'm so anxious that I have all these hundreds of thousands of viewers to date. And yet I've got less than 12,000 followers. What's going on? Although the followers are beautiful people. So there we are. User, I think you, user 72643, guys, is just about to leave us for being substandard by a long shot. Uh, we'll do that, and we'll block, block. That's the end of user 72643, guys. There we go. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. I have to go with my sisters in hospital. No problem, lifestyle. Please send strength to your sister. I hope she gets strong and well. Guys, Boris is speaking at half past, so we're on a bit of a time uh, thing here. What's for dinner, Scotty? I don't know, Scotty. I'm not cooking in your house tonight. Tam Speer has sent us too much information, so we'll say bye to him. Can everybody say bye to Tam Speer? There he goes. Are you watching? Woo! Doon the river with the wee troll. There we are. Do you like a roast dinner? Oh, yes. My mother was an outstanding cook. I mean, absolutely fantastic. And uh, she was outstanding. Too late, Tam. You need to behave. Uh, she was absolutely outstanding, but occasionally... She would burn something, of course, and it burned to a frazzle. And she would uh, say, I'm, I'm sorry that got a little bit dried up. <laughs> we love it. Uh, now, hello from Hawaii. La -dee -da -dee, ra -dee -dee -dee. Matthew, you're fair getting round the world on your world tour. There we are. I'm back, says Titan Fell. Will you be on later, Sam? I'll probably be on, I don't know, but 9 o'clock. Is 9 o'clock good on a Friday night? 10 o'clock? I don't know. When's best for you guys? Right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Marvin. Yes, yeah, so we're saying bye-bye to the wee trolls, of course. Uh, it burn to toast like the trolls, Scotty. Yes, Lahoob. What's your favorite type of music? Oh, everything, me like. Everything. I just adore it. I've got fairly Catholic tastes. Catholic as in universal. So there we are. So you can give me a bit of garage, a few banging tunes. You can give me Scottish country dance. You can give me classical. You can give me plain song. Going back to the, uh, the, the five and six hundreds, liturgical, ecclesiastical, pipe organ music, jazz. Uh, what else have we got? Um, oh, a, oh, come on now. Uh, ragtime. We like ragtime as well. Anything at all, I am your man. Hello from Toronto. We love Toronto, Mac. Lovely to have you with us. I notice your second name has got a French sound to it. Yes, indeed. So we say, um, do you speak French? Probably Francais. Uh, and we can maybe converse, you see. What's popping from Canada? Everything's popping in Canada. We're coming out to see your corn, which is as high as an elephant's eye. And we're going to pop the corn. Now then, I'll have to go. Dinky do, everybody. Bye bye, says someone passed out. Isaac, I don't really want to send you down this one. Guys, should we ban Isaac for mentioning the candies thing? Or we will let him off and hope he grows up? Maybe you'll grow up. Yes, Isaac. It wasn't funny when it started. The Irish are good for their music. You've got to give them that. You've got to give the Irish everything. They're good for everything. They just need some confidence in themselves. And they just need to stop harming each other. Zadok the Priest. Dee, 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 dee. Zadok the Priest and Nathan the Prophet. Anointed Solomon King. 
Am I right, Mac? Was that any good? George Frederick Handel. What about uh, death metal? Death metal. Yes, indeed. Yes, a bit of heavy metal as well. Anything I can tap my foot to. Oh, El Mando. You can tap your foot to anything. You've got great sense of timing. There we are. In school, we learn dances for Achille. So it's not C-A-L-I-E-G-H. It's C. A-I-L-E-D-H, Achilles, right? You look like Sean Bean. Thank you. That's a great compliment. He was a fine Yorkshireman. He is a fine Yorkshireman. Everything's popping in Canada. We should play Francais. 50-50 Scots and French. Ecossais, Francais, oui. Oui, je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite. Mais si tu parles longtemps, peut-être je comprends. Oui, d'accord. Qu'est-ce que vous disiez, oui, Monsieur Moreau? Oui, ah, oui, oui. C'est très bon. Um, hey, I've just finished work. Thank you, Stacy. Congratulations on finishing work. Scotty, if you were in mastermind, what would your subject be? I think I might go, I might go for... The Clyde Steamers. Yes, now these were pleasure steamers that uh, plied the River Clyde from, oh, I would say from the 1840s, 18, 1830s, 1840s, through until about 1980. Yes, you could probably still have got one. 1970, 1980, the Clyde Steamers. So we're looking at about 150 years of the Clyde Steamers. <laughs> so I think I might do that in Mastermind. Plus, of course, the uh, general knowledge. The general knowledge. Fantastic stuff. There we are. Jesus loves you. Have a good day. Next to Jesus doesn't just love me. Jesus adores me. And he adores you. And we adore Jesus. Fair exchange is no robbery. Yes, maybe you will grow up, says Seth to that person. Well, they're not good at farming potatoes. Who's not good at farming potatoes? Lovely day for a nice pint of stout. La hope you'll be getting stout. Hope you've had a good day, Marvin. I've had a fabulous day. Met some wonderful people today. Hope you have an amazing day. I thank you, Summer Pasta. There's lots to go. Dinky do, says El Mando. So there we are. What is in permanence? In permanence is uh I think when something is temporary, yes, it's not permanent. There we go. Fantastic. Are you Scottish? Yes, I'm going to go for that. I'll, I'll take that one. Fantastic. Hi, can I get a dab? Checks. Everybody could get a dab. Although somebody's telling me that dabs are a bit passe now. A little bit yesterday's stuff. There we are. What's happening, my man? Uh, Scotty, can you shout out? My name is Nika, Nisa. 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 Lovely to have you with us. Yes, Italian name, Nisa. Very Nisa. Very Nisa to have a Nisa name. That's what we want. What do you think of the Home Office trying to get people out of their homes? Well, Tony, I would imagine that that was probably well down the road. All the discussions had been had, and, you know, they must, it must have all been organized to get them out. But Scotland takes a dim view. You see, Scotland was depopulated by social injustice. And Scotland would like to repopulate by social justice. So Scotland's got room for people coming in, you know. But uh, I think probably it was a bit insensitive during um, Eid, yes, because uh, I assumed that the people involved were Islamic. There was a lot of Islamic people involved. Anyway, it seemed to be a bit insensitive during Eid. Eid. So there we are. And, uh, you know, there should have been a lot more discretion involved. I think just we have to be aware of, uh, of the calendar, you know.
But we don't have all the details, but clearly the local people weren't too chuffed. In fact, they were dischuffed. That's the stuff. Now, guys, what have we got here? Uh, what made you get into live streaming on TikTok, says Peter. Peter, um, what I thought was uh, very important um, that uh, we find a nice, I mean, I've done Facebook, YouTube, a uh, little bit of Twitch, all that, and they're all great fun. Instagram popped up there for a bit. Anyway, TikTok, people persuaded me to get an account, and I had the account for probably a good year or so before we got to a 1,000 followers. I didn't think anything of it, and I just made some funny ones. You'll still see them going way back. And then uh, I found out if you had more than 1,000 followers, you could go live. So I thought, I'll try it, and it just became an outstanding hit with all the TikTokers. So I think I'm dealing with the right people. I think I'm in the right place at the right time, and that's what's happened there. And my Rosald, thank you so much for sending that. So that was why we went for it, Peter. And all I can say is there should be a lot more followers and a lot more likes. But that aside, half a million people have seen Scotty McClue live in the last five weeks. That's not bad, is it? So uh, that kind of made me think, right, I'll get into that. How much did your bonnet cost? Can't remember, Bobby. I think it'd be about maybe at the time... Could it have been four pounds or something? It's quite an old bonnet. You're a good skin, Scotty. The comment about the potatoes was mocking the Irish. La hoop, never mock your never mock your own people. They had a very tough time with potatoes. I could tell you during the blight, if it hadn't been for Britain, they would have starved. I'm from Japan. I loved your dabs. Thank you. Sorry, these are two separate comments. Somebody said, uh, Gekia, Gekia from Japan, is, uh, said, uh, I'm from Japan. And then someone passed and said, I love your dabs. Thank you very much. Your dabs used to be your prints, your hands, you'd touch something. Have you had your dabs all over this? Um, where can I buy your badge? Someone passed uh, What we'll do is, if you make me TikTok famous, then we'll get the merch out there and get the badges going. So, TikTok famous first, badges next. Dinky you know. Have you ever watched Still Game that says ND? They reckon that Scotty McClue may well have been the original inspiration for Still Game. Yeah, the Still Game idea came out of Scotty McClue and his bonnet. So, there we are. Uh, I was going to say something, Stair says. I was going to say something, but he has me on watch. I do, Stair. So, you just. Uh, Call canny, as we say in Scotland. You'll know what I mean. To support the independence movement in Scotland, uh, yes, I do. Um, I'm apolitical, but from an economic point of view, Scotland's been getting robbed for 313 years by Westminster. So, you know, let's try and see if we can handle our own finances. Do you support pasta? Um, I do support it, uh, you know, when, uh, when I've had a few spoonfuls. I support it. What do you think of the vaccines? Well, we'll not go into all the details of companies here. <coughs> do you watch so game? I have watched it. Yes, I do enjoy a lot of it. What is the name of the first Clyde steamer? I googled it. That would be the Comet. Yes, the Comet. Or if you're talking about the turbines, 1896, the Turbinia. The Comet was 1812. There we are. The Charlotte Dundas was on the Fourth and Clyde Canal on, uh, in 1802, called after Lord Dundas of Port Dundas in Glasgow. What you should be doing, scrolling through Scotty McClure's TikToks, and you'll see me talking about Port Glasgow. Look for that one. I wonder if the process for a Canadian to immigrate to Scotland is a simple one. I don't think it'd be that difficult, but you could have dual uh, citizenship, I would think, because uh, being a citizen of Canada is quite a, quite a wonderful thing, I believe. Are you a Peaky Blinder? Yes, a Peaky Blinder. I can't see from my Peaky. Where are you all? Oh, oh. 
Oh, there you are. That was it. I'd fallen down. Uh, you look like Jack Jarvis. Thank you very much, Bobby. A huge compliment, I'm sure. Uh, send uh, Mirzel. Mirzel has sent us a rose, guys. Isn't that beautiful? We love it. Uh, Sterna Hirn. Aye, you're on watch, laddie. Do you watch countries? Oh, I watch everything. Yes, yes, big, big people person, big watcher. Scotty, you know the Brits used to, as, as slaves and took the food. We grew and treated us horribly. Um, so you tell me, but do you know that the Brits treated the Brits as slaves and took the food and treated them horribly? Yes, you've obviously never been a miner in Britain in the 16, 17, 18, 1900s. Stevie, Stevie says, up the Royal Artillery. Stevie's an officer in the Gunners, the British Army Regiment. The Gunners, the Royal Artillery. Up the RA, he says. Ah, just how that goes when you can't get the Euro because you're so much debt local. Why on earth would we be in debt? Immediately we have independence from the UK, we'd be 45 billion a year better off. So how are we going to get into debt, especially when we don't have any borrowing powers? Sober up, laddie. Wakey, wakey, sleepy boy. Now, who we got here? Do you love pasta? Yes, you do. We are besties. We're pasta. As long as we're not pasta best. How are you, Scotty? See what I just did there? We're besties with the pasta. As long as we're not pasta best. I love it. How are you, Scotty? Did he think he do? Fantastic. Maria has sent me a cup of tea. Maria, not only are you a very generous and kind and gifted lady, you're also a wonderful human being. And you think about other people. And you knew I'd be getting a little bit thirsty after 37 minutes of live streaming on TikTok. So you sent me a cup of tea. You are such a gorgeous person, such a beautiful angel. Maria has been so generous to me, guys, I can't even describe it. She has sent me hundreds of thousands of TikToks, gifts, diamonds. There was a huge one the other night, Maria. You sent a huge thing. Was it the carousel or the, the diamond? And today you covered me in gold. So beautiful. Thank you. Ireland is the best country in the world. B-Star Racing, no country is the best country in the world. They're all just a little bit different. Why would you think Ireland's the best country? I mean, I happen to agree with you, uh, apart from Scotland, of course, and a few others. But, uh, you know, I happen to agree. But why would you say that? What makes you say that? Do tell us. Have you ever been across to Canada? That's so fair. So, uh, Mac, I have family in Canada, in Victoria, at British Columbia. I have friends uh, also in British Columbia. I have, uh, wait till we see, I had family in Alberta, in Calgary. You know, there'll still be descendants there, which would be wonderful. Now, the TS King Edward is the first ever turbine powered steamer. As you know, thanks, Scotty. Scotty Boy, she was the first commercial one. The yacht Turbinia in 1896 was where they tested the Parsons turbine. Then you had the King Edward. Then in 1906, you had the Queen Alexandra, who was the wife of King Edward. Then in 1911, Sorry, you had the Duchess of Argyll in 1906. I beg your pardon. I'd have lost a point for that. So King Edward, 1901. Duchess of Argyll, 1906. The, uh, stick with me, the Queen Alexandra, 1911. She went on fire. They sold her the two Canadian Pacific Railways as the Princess Patricia, Princess Pat. They built another Queen Alexandra. In 1912, she became, or wait a minute, hold on, was the first Queen Alexandra, 1902. Aha, uh -huh. we have a dichotomy here. Then the Duchess of Argyll, 1906. Then you, of course, got an interruption with the First World War. And your next big turbine after the First World War would be 
the King George V in 1926, then you would have had the Duchess of Montrose in 1930, the Duchess of Hamilton in 1932, the, uh, what else did we have? Duchess of Hamilton, 1932. You had the Queen Mary in 1933, and the Marchioness of Graham around that time. Was she 1936? The Marchioness of Graham. And then after that, I think that was it for the turbine steamers. And they were virtually all around when I was a little boy. I've been on most of them. The second Queen Alexandra was renamed the St. Columba. And a funnel was added. She had three funnels. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Absolutely. Now, who have we got here? Yay! Dinky do. Wonderful stuff. Um, not sure if I want. The reputation related to the name Duchess of Argyle. Ah, Mac Moreau. You know something that not everybody does. Yes, indeed. That was only one Duchess of Argyle. Another Duchess of Argyle was Queen Victoria's daughter, who was quite a lass herself, but not quite on the same scale as the one you're talking about. So there we go. But um, yes, indeed. So Queen Victoria's daughter, Princess Louise, and the Argyles were the Princess Louise's Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders. And you will also have the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders of Canada. What about that? There you are. Do you support gay? Albert, on here, Scotty McClure's TikTok live stream is all inclusive. No one is judged on their age, their race, their creed, their, their sexual orientation. It just doesn't matter. Their color, none of it matters on here. We're all inclusive. So you never, ever, ever need to ask anything like that. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Uh, there we are. Now, what have we got here? Uh, Pakuch has followed us. Fantastic. Guys, can you all follow us as soon as you possibly can, please? It's very, very important. We're very short on followers. And also, can somebody be detailed to go and do some liking of the TikTok videos, which apparently you can see if you tap my, um, my photo at the top. What do you have to say? Here we are. Hang on, guys. What do you have to say to the fact that there will always be judgment? Charlie, I think I have to agree with you. There's always going to be judgment. And there we are. And there will be judgment. And if somebody's been a baddie during their earthly life, they will be judged. Trust me. Guys, I need some more followers. Who's not been following? Naughty, naughty, naughty. There we are. I can't understand why I've only got a handful of followers. Did you fight in World War II? No, but my father did six years of it from the age of 18 to 24. My father in World War II. Do you support the Royal Artillery? Yes, everybody supports the Royal Artillery. It's a British Army regiment. Very, very popular. So there you are. Ask your friends over in the Emerald Isle. So there are, my uh, father fought in World War II, my grandfathers, both of them fought in World War I. So there you go, incredible. And do you know that my favorite teacher flew aircraft, fairy swordfish, off the Ark Royal? And he used to tell me all about it. He was born in 1912. And he's a wonderful, wonderful man, outstanding teacher, but just a lovely, lovely person. And... Uh, I got only last week, somebody posted a photo of the fairy swordfish flying off the Ark Royal. And I thought, I'll bet that's Uncle Jack. There we are, remembering Uncle Jack, guys. A tremendous guy. I did it. Of course you did, Scotty. How's you been, Lucy? And lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Where are you located? I'm located at my desk on TikTok. 
But uh, we're in Scotland. So there we are. Bobby is talking. Bobby, what did we tell you about mentioning terrorists? So there we go. Remember that that lot died the day Lord Mountbatten died. That was the end of that mob. Okay, okay. Now, here we go. What do you think of the Tories? Well, I don't know much about them. I don't like the way they, they managed to swing that Brexit thing and caused the UK to have economic annihilation and f political fragmentation. You know, I mean, that was shocking. Do you support Palestine? I do. I also support Israel. And I think the two of them need to get their act together and stop throwing ordnance at each other. I've been watching Peaky Blinders, Scotty. Is it true that PTSD was called shell shock? Lucy, it's 100% true. People that came back from the trenches, the constant noise of ordnance, what we're talking about. That's why these little ones in Gaza, in Tel Aviv, and in Jerusalem will be so frightened you know, and, uh, you know, we've just come through a pandemic. What are these people thinking about? So there we are. Eid Mubarak, brother. Happy Eid, J. Bilbo. So uh, what happened after the First World War, a lot of the people that had been in the trenches, they were very, very reactive to any sudden noise. And I remember hearing a story. I think my grandfather told me a motorcycle started up and an old First World War veteran threw himself down on the street, decked himself, just as a, an, a reaction. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you know, absolutely. Now, uh, Naughty Bobby, very, very, very Naughty Bobby. Yes, indeed. My mum says she remembers you. It must be from when you did radio. Commander, it could be radio or television or the newspapers. I did the lot. Ever been to Classy Bond in Sligo, where Mountbatten was living? No, but I must go because it looks beautiful. And the old Classy Bond castle and the Mountbatten's would have been adored by the locals. I just know it because they were a very, very nice family. And uh, these lovely two little twins, one of them died with his grandfather. So there you are. Uh, yes, yes, indeed. Little, um, yes, was it Nicholas that died? Nicholas and Timothy, and I think Nicholas died. Yes, shocking. And um, poor uh, John and, and Pamela Brayburn got their face all cut open with stuff, and their father, of course, was killed. Uh, yes, indeed, shocking, shocking, and it split the, the terrorists and thugs right down the middle, and that's the one man that would actually, they could have discussed their cause with, because he knew all about freedom and uh, freedom fighting. So there you go. So Steyr says he supports the terrorists and the thugs, but the name that you're using, Bobby, is disrespectful to the guy that starved himself to death, and he'd advise you to change it. So I'm just passing on a message from Stair. Can you listen to my music on Spotify? I think you'll like it. Yes, I'll have a look, Swan. There we are, no problem at all. Now, what have we got here? There we go. There we are. Fantastic. Now, uh, son Italiano. Yes. Uh, tutti uh, amici English. Thank you, Vicky. Si, si. Uh, bella, bella, bellissimo. Uh, now, Nenai, Nenai, you just need to go away and grow up. <laughs> need, and come back when your voice breaks. There we are, Nenai. Uh, General Knowledge, Scotty, what was Michael Caine's character named on Zulu? Oh, I can't tell you, Scotty boy. I remember him playing it along with Stanley Baker. And I remember the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Ivory Manuel, I think it was, singing Men of Harley. Now, if you ever get a chance to hear a recording of Ivory Emmanuel. I would strongly 
strongly, seriously, advise you to listen to it because he's just the man's outstanding. I wish I could play music on TikTok. I would play you Ivor Emmanuel, and he's saying, Man of Harley, stand ye steady. Uh, wow, T shows deviate away from the truth. Sometimes you see Lucy, they do. But the shell shock, yes, anything. I mean, you know, the, the, the damage, not only did a third of a generation perish on the Somme, but, you know, the, the, the millions of casualties in the First World War, but they weren't just the ones who lost their lives and made the ultimate sacrifice. There were those who came home and lived the rest of their life without legs and arms and eyesight, and their lungs were damaged from being gassed. Gas, gas, gas. You know, gas last night and gas the night before. All that sort of stuff. Uh, the whiz bangs. I'm scared of ghosts. Well, I don't think there's anything to be scared of. A ghost is just a restless spirit. Do you play Fortnite? Well, I'd only play once a week. If I did, you see. <laughs> ah, for Fortnite. Have you ever played St. Andrews? No, I don't golf, but I did do a video where Scotty McClue featured on golf in St. Andrews, the history of golf. Because you see, Mary, Queen of Scots, played an old form of golf before it was uh, invented effectively on Leith Links. At Leith, just at the bottom of the city of Edinburgh. And um, very, very interesting. Listen to this, guys. This Bobby, guys. Stare, no disrespect intended by it. This guy is clueless. Who is he talking about? Scotty McClure is an expert on Irish history, an expert on the Troubles, an expert on the terrorists. You know, I know all about the history of the IRA, going back to the Republican Brotherhood. Yes, so Bobby Sands, what shall I do with you? Shall I dump you or mute you? I mean, that's really very offensive. This guy is clueless to perhaps one of the finest experts in the world on Ireland, you know? So there we go. Uh, so anyway, where was I? Yes, so Mary Queen of Scots, you see. And she got young French soldiers to carry her golf clubs. And because a lot of French was spoken in Mary Queen of Scots household at Holyrood, um, she would, uh, they were young cadets in the army and they were known as les cadets. So the Lee Caddy carried the golf clubs, hence the word caddy, you see. Bobby, I suspect you're clueless. Yes. Uh, in fact, let's just dump you because I'm quite offended by that. That's offensive. There he goes. Right, that's that Bobby guy gone, guys, for being ignorant about Ireland. Gone. There we are, finished. That's it. Never see him again. Right, who have we got here? How do you think Edwina died? Uh, a little suspicious, no? No, I think Edwina took a heart attack. Edwina was only in her 50s. I'm trying to think what age she was. Her father, her grandfather, Sir Ernest Castles, uh, was uh, the banker to King Edward VII. So they were very, very interesting. So Edwina, no, I think Edwina was a terrific character. She wore herself out by, um, you know, I mean, yes, she had one or two affairs, uh, allegedly, um, and I know who with, but uh, she wore herself out, Edwina, working just ceaselessly for the Red Cross and for charities. There we are. You're very pretty. I thank you so much. What a lovely thing to say. Uh, right. How are we doing here? Well, that's a dinky do. My name is Kisaki. Lovely to have you with us. From Japanese, Nisi. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, one day we shall have unity. We've got unity, Stair. You've got unity. Now you've had unity since the peace process. I know this isn't a political page, but what exactly is going on in Palestine? I don't understand. Right. Let me explain very, very briefly. 
bless Britain, but they are very good at taking over places and occupying places and running them successfully and uh, making a profit on the business. So a country is a business, you see. But where the British are very poor is leaving the territory. And we've seen this time and time again. India was, uh, although this was Lord Mountbatten running it, but it was beyond the uh, facilities of young men, uh, one man to, uh, you know, a fifth of the world's population were in India, and they split the Punjab right up the center. And of course, you know, hundreds of thousands of people died in the process. So that was India. Africa, a lot of violence, a lot of people died as the British left. British East Africa, Kenya, Tanganyika, Uganda, you know, Nigeria, all that sort of stuff. Then, of course, you had... Uh, the, the French were, uh, the Belgians were in the Congo and the French, you know, the whole thing. So anyway, you had all that sort of thing. The British weren't very good at leaving it. And they had the Balfour Declaration, Lord Balfour. Yes, indeed, the Balfour Declaration, which was really just a letter in the uh, 1920s. 1929, I think, was the Balfour Declaration in the Middle East. And the problem is that Britain came out of Palestine, then uh, Israel was, create, um, was created by the exodus of the Jewish people who um, were desperately seeking a home after the Holocaust. So that was why you got that. Now, the problem is that as far as I understand it, Israel has spilled over into Palestine and pushed the Palestinians back to the Gaza Strip, almost back to the sea. And the Israelis try to control Palestine because they don't trust, you know, the Jews don't trust the Arabs. But the thing is, Jerusalem has got 20% of Palestinian Arabs. There are also a lot of Christian Arabs in the Middle East. Yes, so although it's not essentially religion, it's over, that's used as the vehicle for pushing to get more land for the, uh, the Jewish people as far as I understand it. And obviously the Palestinian people resist that. Yes, so the Jewish people put sanctions on them. And Israel has got the superior military power, but uh, Gaza, or uh, the Palestinians, are giving an account of themselves. But I wish they'd all get together around the table and just stop it. All right? So the Middle East kind of changed hands, and America took over as the world's police person. You know, but that's expensive in its own. And as I said to you, we had their guy in Sutherland Highlanders in Jerusalem in 1947. And um, one of their greatest commanding officers ever, Lieutenant Colonel Colin Campbell Mitchell, Mad Mitch of Eden fame. You look him up, you can Google him. Colin Mitchell, wonderful, wonderful soldier, very, very good military strategist. And um, he was wounded in a bomb explosion in the King David Hotel in Jerusalem in 1947, I think it was, 48. There we are. So, so Steyr, less of all this Irish politic nonsense. It's all sorted out. Enjoy yourself. Have, an, have a nice life. Hi, mate, Suzuka. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. I can't believe we're out of time. Uh, we'll see you all at 9 o'clock. Until then, from me, Scotty McClure, to every single one of you. Dinky-doo. ta -da,